Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Pokemon Sun. Here is still blocked, by the way. I've just finished work. And, uh, yeah, in the last episode, we caught Buzzwall, two of them. And now it's time for two more Ultra Beasts, probably the same one. Where were they again? Um, Lush Jungle and Memorial Hill, okay. Let's let's go maybe Lush Jungle first. Isn't Lush Jungle pretty close to here? I'm fairly certain it is. Also, yeah, it's it's just gone five o'clock. It's not this dark. It's still completely light. At the moment it probably won't get dark until about uh probably nine o'clock. It's usually the way it is. It is August after all. Yeah, is Lush Jungle just here? Yes, it is. Alright. Best double check in. Mm. <laughs> it's a good thing I checked, isn't it? Right. Forget that. That's my phone going off. Forget that as well. We need to go and heal immediately. Oh, yeah, of course. We've, yeah, I probably should have done that earlier, shouldn't I? Well, I just wasted a minute on this video. Hurrah. Yay. Uh, anyway. Let's rest and... Heal up our Pokemans. Come on. Alright. So. The next Ultra Beast. I do know which one it is. Yes. Uh, UB number three. Electricity or whatever it is. Uh, well, you can easily tell it's an electric type Pokemon. So, uh, cheers for that one. That's more information than I've gotten before. Alright. So. Let's go back into the lush jungle this time. And see if we can get. We can catch the bastard. Where's a good place to try and spot it? Not there. That might be an easy, an, uh, a good place. Right, I'm not sure if it's high-ish, if it's levels high enough. But I will endeavour to try it with some super repels. Got level 57 at the uh, at the front there, so we'll give it a go. Aha! There we go! And there it is! The next uh, Ultra Beast! God, this one's a weird looking one. Okay, now it looks cooler. <laughs> it looks cooler now that it's sort of like red, red, white, and black. Alright, but this is, yeah, it's level 65 and it's raining at the moment. Alright, let's go for a flamethrower, see if we can get some damage in on it. Gone for flamethrower specifically on that one. Oh, it's got discharge, okay. That is a powerful Pokemon. Jesus. Okay, that is a powerful Pokemon. Oh, God. And it's got special attack. It's got a special attack upgrade. Right, food. I think you're pretty good here. You give it a go. Try and murder this sod. All right, let's go. Let's go for a flash cannon here. Oh, electric terrain. Okay. It's pretty quick as well. That's it. It's a weird looking thing, this one, isn't it? Very weird. All right, flash cannon. Okay, we can slowly start whittling it down from here, which is nice at least. So, you continuously attack with the flash cannon. He's going to go for the discharge. Wow! Even a not very effective attack beats food. I guess, I guess it's down to Cocoa Pops, I guess, on this one. I just want to try and lower its health as much as I can. So, uh, Cocoa Pops, let's go for Nature's Madness. You've got to be faster than it, yeah. Okay. Right. Your health is now halved, my friend. There's another discharge. Can Tapu Coco survive one of these? No. No, it cannot. Poor Tapu Coco. All right. Last try on this one. It's going to be with Sweep. Sweep can block the electric attacks completely because it's part ground type. I don't know what type of moves it's got. More than likely, it's gonna have. It's, it's, it's got bleeding power whip, hasn't it? Oh, I hope I catch it then. It's got bleeding power whip. Come on. Don't know. I have a stats on you. God damn. Oh, it has got power whip. God damn it. Of course it has. Well, at least Sweep can uh, survive that pretty well. I need to catch this thing now. Now. I need to get this thing now. Oh, I don't have another status on it. One. Two. Three. Yes! Oh, okay. 
We got the third Ultra Beast, Zerkitry. Yes, that is its name. Sweeps up level 58. Thank you, Sweet, for that one. Jeez, it had power for everything. Got that one right on the money, didn't I? It's just the fact they had, like, long arms and stuff. I thought, yep, yeah, it's called a circuitry. As in circuitry, electricity, you get it. All right. So, yes, as you can tell, it's made of wires. Yes. The copper bits at the front are the brown bits, the browny orange bits, and the black bits are the sort of rubber cables. They literally made a Pokemon composed entirely of wires. The glowing Pokemon. It's electric type Pokemon. It's 12 foot 6. Jesus Christ. You big bastard. Also, it's 220 pounds. You lanky bastard. One of the one of the mysterious life forms known as Ultra Beast. Astonishing. Electric shocks emanate from its body, according to witnesses. Alright. Essentially, you're just wires, really, aren't you? So, um... Uh, there you go. <laughs> this is what I use to cut you, pliers. Let's have a look at its uh, summary, actually. Oh, it bloody hell, it's got had hypnosis as well. But look at that! Jesus! It's a rash nature, so its special attack gets upgraded. Bloody hell, look at that special attack. That is monstrous special attack. Ooh, that is monstrous special attack right there. Also, it glows. Anyway, pliers has been sent to the box. You've successfully caught the UB. Still one more to catch. More than likely, there's one round here. But I can't be bothered to go back to the Pokemon Center. So, let us... Do I have revives to heal up my team? Yes, I do. I need to heal up Mandy. Need to heal up food. Need to heal up Cocoa Pops. And then we need to full restore them. There we go. Right, so probably Flamethrower. Not a good start, especially in rain. Because that just lowers Flamethrower's ability. So maybe Sludge Bomb will be better here. I'm going to have a little bit more research around here. See if we can find the second one. Probably not here, it's probably in the other area. But I'm gonna waste the rest of this repel, just in case it turns up. Ah, okay. It's probably in the other area then. That's fine, we'll uh, we'll get moving to that area then. But we caught the first circuitry, so we just need to get another one and we're all good. Nice. Where the bloody hell was it? I wish I remembered. Look up. Need you. Bullseye. Lose some weight, Bullseye, damn it. Actually, don't, because you're powerful and you need them much Uh, yeah. Where's where's the other one? Memorial Hill. Yeah, of course it was. And I forgot about it. Okay, Memorial Hill is where the second one is. Don't think I'm going to get a better one than the one I got, though, unless it maybe gives me, um, modest natured? Which is uh, minus special, uh, minus attack, plus special attack. All right, where's Memorial Hill? That's Brooklyn Hill. That's Well of Volcano Park. That's the Thrifty Mega Mart. That's Route Four. Memorial Hill. There we go. It's around Route Nine. Okay, get to it, Charizard, or probably Jeff. Get to it, Jeff. You can say that these are all Pokemon that I've used, but I haven't actually used Sharpedo yet, have I? Or Machamp, for that matter. Alright, let's get moving. Get the next one. Aha, here we go. Memorial Hill. And Taurus is bad here. Alright, I'll run then. Ugh. I didn't even get that Pokeball over there either. I should really get that. While I, uh, while I search. Right, Repel time. I'm fairly certain this one's also going to be level 65. It should be. So let's super repel here. May come across it before we get to the item. Who knows? That's usually what happens. Of course, when I want to, it doesn't. Dust Ball! Useless to me because it's 20 minutes past 5. Alright. There it is. The second circuitry. Right. 
that version of circuit of, of uh, circuitry just looks better. What can I say? It does. Right, I can actually use flamethrower here uh, because it's not raining. So that'd be quite nice. Let's go for a flamethrower. Get some damage in. Have that. Good damage. All right, discharge. That's probably gonna kill off Mandy. Yep. Mandy's gone immediately. Okay. Essentially, we'll just do the same thing as we did before. Only I'll bring Ta I'll bring uh, Tapu Coco in quickly. Yeah, in comparison to when I did last time. So I really need to get this thing down to red health, really, don't I? Maybe a couple of Nature's Madnesses will uh, get it down to that. It should too. If Ta if Tapu Coco can survive an attack from circuitry, which it probably can't, but it might do. Who knows? Come on, Tapu Coco. Nope. <coughs> Nothing doing. Nothing doing. Okay. Right. Time to do what we did before. Um, it sweeps time. To come into play. As it sweep could actually absolutely destroy this thing. One earthquake. He's gone. He's gone. Sweep will, can ju will just kick its ass. Right. Beast balls. We've got 25 of them. So, fingers crossed it doesn't take 25 to catch this, this one. That'd be nice. One. Two. Three. Yeah, there we go. And the second circuitry has been caught. Very nice. Um, I will give you a nickname. Uh, you shall be... Uh, Wiry... Goit. Actually, you got... It's got, it's got to be capitalized. You shall be Wiry Goit. There you go. <laughs> Who's better, pliers or Wiry Goit? Let's find out. The answer is... Pliers. Pliers is better. We will probably be getting rid of you because <laughs> I don't need you. But I'll send you to the box anyway. Wiry Goit has been sent to the box. Uh, cut them! Cut the black wire! Cut all the wires. Just cut them. That's what you need to do. Just arm yourself with pliers and you can take out the Ultra Beast. I want it, I, it doesn't say it's got powers of regeneration. It might not. And then you're safe from the Ultra Beast. Just like, excuse me, snip. And he just goes, ah, part of me. Why was I made of wires and cables? Why? They're so fragile! <laughs> oh, I need an electrician stat! Well, you won't be able to get one for a couple of days. Apologies. Well, make sure you get your asbestos register! For all you know, the thing on its head may be asbestos. Which means that a different company needs to attend. You can tell I work in maintenance, can't you? Ugh. Speaking of that, my day. My day... They must think that I can respond to requests about as quickly on a compute on a on a crappy laptop with 4K not 4K with bloody dial up as Jim Carrey can on God's computer. Seriously, so leave me be for a bit. I got I've got enough stuff to do. Uh, right. Anyway, yes, we have uh, finished the mission. Amazing! Bravo! You have done it. I must call the chief back at once. Indeed, I've got wiry goit. And pliers! Don't ask why I called them that. Actually, do ask them why I called them that. Because it's funny! Oh, dead funny. Yeah. I finished sending the data from the Ultra Beast you protected at H to HQ. And to Miss Wick as well. Thank you for your hard work, Mastrath. We should unravel the, myster the mysteries of circuitry, also known as UB Lightning. Yes. Oh god, she's fainting again, is she? Are you alright, ma'am? Yes, I'm fine, Mr. Looker. I just felt a passing vertigo, but I'm fine. Please don't worry yourself. But I must. I insist on worrying. You have always had the stamina of a Machamp, Chief. I cannot believe this is nothing. No, please. It's, it is nothing so serious. I'm sorry for causing you to worry about me. I insist that I'm, I really am fine. She's lying. Putting all that aside, 
I must say that we have found a great ally in Mastrath. What a fantastic trainer. It was all that I could simply keep that circuitry away from the town. The UB seem to get terribly aggressive when they spot me. Like they are treating me as prey or an enemy. Well, you are the police, so... They're probably there going, Oh god, it's the coppers. Yeah, who, all, for all you know, Ultra Beasts are just hoodlums. That's what they are. They're just there going, Oh god, it's the coppers. Oh, we best run. Quick, quat, crotch the weed. Uh, Zerka Tree, crotch the weed. This is, this is Buzzwall talking, by the way. Nihilego's just... Nihilego's legged it at this point. I'm sh Oh, sorry. R wrong voice. I'm sure it's only your imagination, Chief. You must be exhausted. I'm not the bloody 40, you know. What about me? Oh, God, it's him again! Bloody Eeyore. I'll let myself in. Mr. Nanu? You've been keeping well. You are... <laughs> so it's you, 100KR, or... Sorry. Oh, sorry. Again, wrong voice. God damn it, I'm tired. Sorry. What is it now? Looker? Yes, it is. What's this? No smile for me. Well, bloody hell, you don't give any... Actually, no, you do in that creepy. Please don't. Here I am, coming out of my way to bring you the info about the UB that you're searching for. Are you really? The monster you're calling Blade. It's on Ula Ula Island. I'll tell you more when you get there. And your information? It is all true. I'm the Kahuna of Ula Ula Island. If you don't do something about the monster for me, our Guardian's not going to be happy. Thank you for the information, Mr. Nanu. See you around then. I'm going to go to my house made of sticks. Anyone seen my tail? I'm referencing Eeyore, by the way. <coughs> Mr. Looker? Y yes, ma'am. Mr. Looker, do I take it that you're acquainted with Mr. Nanu? I knew him once, I thought. Never mind that. Right now, we need to focus on our mission. Of course. Yes, of course, you're right. If we have reports of a new UB sign of sighting, then our mission is our first priority. I'll move to Ulu Ulu Island and prepare our new base in the motel there. Please join us there as soon as you're ready, Mastrath. I'll go to Ula Ula. I trust that you will as well, Mastrath. The motel on Ula Ula Island is on Route 13. How ominous it's on Route 13. Well, at least our team's bloody back, so that's a good thing at least. Right! Next Ultra Beast. It doesn't end, does it, with these guys? It just doesn't end. Right, Ula Ula Island. At least I'm catching Ultra Beast for it, so that's all right. Right, Route 13, where are you? That's 15, that's 14, that's 13, why is it there? I don't understand why it's there, but never mind! It doesn't even say there's a motel there, so... Maybe, oh, damn, maybe I'll dig about in the dirt for it. Maybe it's an underground motel, you know what people are like nowadays. Alright. See if we can find it. Wonder if this fisherman knows where it is. Probably not. All right, let's go and find it. This is not the motel I'm getting. Oh, this might be. Over here. Yep, yeah, this looks it. Yep, yeah, we found. Well, that didn't take too long, did it? All right. Next ultra beast, please. Hello. Why would the pan shot still? We know who she is. Mastra, thank you once again for coming. I've been waiting for you, Mastra. Once again, we've already gathered the intel on the UB we're targeting. Mr. Nano provided us with everything that we needed to know. The UB that has been sighted on this island has been known by the codename Blade. 
It's a fearsome beast that is apparently able to cut through anything at all. And it was not a single sighting either. Okay, Blade Faller, UB04. We cannot afford any delays. I will protect the populated areas as usual. Mastrath will go to the site. Mr. Looker, you will stand by again. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're right. You're right, Chief. I think you're pushing yourself too far. If you would agree, I'd be happy to go to the field myself this time and... I'm fine. I can still handle this. I have you to watch my back after all, don't I? Yes, ma'am. Then I'll be off now. Mastrath, I wish you fortune in battle. Don't push yourself too hard, Chief. Please be careful. Mastrath, these are for you. Your Pokeballs known as Beast Balls for this mission. Ah, another 10. Nice. We're actually getting up a nice, uh, nice selection of these, really, aren't we? We're doing pretty well with conserving them. First, the regular reports. Let us get them out of the way, my young friend. Madam Wig finished analyzing all the data that we gathered on the last UB you caught. If you wish to learn more about that creature, you must. You should speak to Madam Wick in the Aether Paradise Secret Labs. Now it's time to get to work. If you need to ask me anything, I'm here. All right. Well, we're, we'll ask about this new uh, this new Ultra Beast, shall we? About Blade. UB04, codename Blade. Yes, I can tell you about it. It seems to be a horrifying beast that can cut through absolutely anything. Sightings were made in two locations, Route 17 and Malai Garden. It seems very likely that the creatures are on the move around Ula Ula Island. The sightings indicate four specimens. So the goal of this mission is to find and protect four individuals, if you can. Four of them? Jesus, you're not making it easy for me now, are you, Looker? Four of them? Oh, God. Okay, well, we'll go to Route 17 first, shall we? Right. Where's Route 17? It's here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. So, Route 17. Next, uh, close to Po Town! Po Town. We're gonna go to Po Town. Actually, we're not going to Po Town, but. We are gonna see if we can. There we go. Immediately. Immediately! Chance at Ultra Beast! And the repel's worn off. That's annoying. Oh, uh, well. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go for a break here. But in the next episode, let's play Pokemon Sun. Probably tomorrow because I'm knackered after today. Mondays are always difficult. Uh, and I may want to pop out quickly. Maybe for a drink or something like that. Something to eat. Something like that. Who knows? Um, but yes, we will be going after UB04 Blade. Sounds nasty. And gribbly and big and frightening. That's called irony and foreshadowing. Reverse foreshadowing. I'll see you then.